Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add advanced hover effects to Divi's blurb module using hover.css. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this step by step. In order for us to add the advanced hover effects to Divi's blurb module, what we're going to need is a few files. So first off, we're going to need some files from hover.css. So over here, this is the link to hover.css and also uh, I will include this in the show notes below. So once you get to this website, all you need to do is to download these files. So once you download them, you'll have a zip folder that is downloaded onto your downloads folder. So what you want to do is to unzip the download folder and go into the CSS folder. Okay, so once you get into the CSS folder, this is the file that we're looking for. So what you need to do is to open this file using a text editor. Now the text editor I use is Atom, it's free. Okay, so when you open the file, this is what it looks like. So we can see here that uh, these are the hover effects, right? So we've got grow, we've also got shrink, pulse, and so on. So this is the code that we'll be using in our example. So what I'm going to do next is to create a brand new page. So I mean, you can add this effect to an existing page, but I'm just going to create a brand new one anyway. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new, and I'm just going to call this hover CSS. Okay, I'm going to click on use the Divi Builder and use Visual Builder. So let's start off by making a three column row. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button and select my three columns. So let's close, let's close out of this and let's go into the row settings and make this full width. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on sizing. And here where it says make this row full width, let's select yes. So now this is full width. So next we need to add some column padding. So I'm going to come over here to design. So we need to do this to the column one padding bottom. So here let's add 5% like that. Next we're going to go into the advanced tab, click on custom CSS. And then we need to come over here to column one main element. So we need to add some CSS code in here, which is going to create this effect right here. So now that we've added the CSS code, I'm just going to click on save. So next let's add an image. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add our image module. I'm just going to search for it. Click on image. So my image is on my computer. So I'm going to click upload and navigate to it. So I'm going to select the files go to my downloads folder and it's the first one right here. Okay, so now my image is uploaded to my media library. I'm going to go ahead and upload an image. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. Now it's time to add our blurb. So I'm going to click this plus button to add our blurb module. So I'm going to search for it and here it is right here. So the first thing we're going to do is to add the title and then we're going to add some content. Okay, so let's start off with the title. Okay, so now I've added my title and my content. So you can always go here into the design tab and make you know some more adjustments if you need to. So let's say for example, you need to make some adjustments to the header text. You can always come in here. If you wanna make it bigger, you can make it slightly bigger and all caps if you need to. If you want to make it centered, you can, always, you can also do that right here. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is to come over here to image and icon. So we're gonna select use icon and then make sure you select circle icon. And then over here, we need to choose our icon. So you can choose any icon that you need to use for now. But uh, for this example, I'm just gonna go with uh, this one here, the credit card. Okay, so the icon color now needs to be white because it needs to stand out in that background. And then over here, I'm just gonna add my circle color. It's a hexadecimal number, so I'm just gonna paste it in here. And if you wanna use the exact uh, hexadecimal color, you can always go to our post, which I'll link in the, post, in the show notes below. And then let's scroll down here to icon font size. So what you'll realize is sometimes this icon can be really big. So in order for you to adjust that, you need to come over here to use icon font size. So here we can make specific sizes for different mobile devices. So I'm going to come over here. So let's make it 45 for the desktop. So I'm just going to shrink that down to about 45. And then for the tablet, we're going to make it 40. And then for the smartphone, let's make it 37. So this ensures that on these different devices, this icon can always look really, really nice. So next, I'm going to come over here to my header text and just change my header text color. So I'm going to click here and paste my color. And then while we're here in the header text, we're going to come here and make 
sure that we increase this header line height to about 2.2, like that. So next, let's add some custom margins to our blurb module. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. So under custom margin, we're going to add 25 for the top. So 25%, and then it's going to be 5% for the rest. In fact, this needs to be minus 25. Okay, so finally, let's add a margin bottom for the title. So I'm going to click advanced, custom CSS, and then here for the blurb title, we're going to add a margin bottom. Okay, so with all that in place, let's go ahead and save. Now it's time to add the hover.css style. So before we do that, we need to add some CSS ID. So let's come over here to our image, and I'm going to click this gear icon to go into the settings, click advanced, and we're going to come over here to CSS ID and classes. So the class we're going to add here is this one right here, uh, ripple out. So let's save this for now, and let's do the same to the blurb. So we're going to come over here, click the advanced tab, and then we're going to come over here to CSS ID and classes, and also add a class. And then we're going to save that. Right, so next, let's add our CSS code onto our page settings. So I'm going to come over here to page settings, click the advanced tab, custom CSS, and we're going to add our CSS code in here. Now, once we start mousing over this, we can see now we have this ripple effect. Okay, so we're going to save this for now, and we need to go here into our blurb settings, and then we need to come over here to the third tab, the advanced tab, click on CSS ID and classes, and we need to add a CSS ID called center. So we're going to save this for now, and we're going to add some more code onto our page. So I'm going to come over here to page settings, click on advanced, custom CSS. I'm just going to stretch this so I can see where this code is ended. And then I'm going to paste some more code. Okay, so I'm going to paste my code in here. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so we're almost done now. The final step is to drag our blurb module below this image. So I'm going to drag it right here and just let go. Okay, so there we go. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save and then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. Right, so I'm going to come over here to the top and exit the Visual Builder, and then we're going to test and see if this is working fine. So if I put my mouse over here, we can see that um, this is working very well. And then on the bottom here, we also have this animation just below the header. And this is really cool. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.